time for the second box of nickels. Open it up. There are no numbers. So let's start with our stroll. First row, we have a 1941 Denver. Looks like a metal detector find. So that's one old Jefferson and on to the next. Six rolls there, we have another old Jefferson. It's a 1946 plane. So that's two old Jeffersons and on to the next. Next row, we have a 1941 plane. So that's three and on to the next row. Two rolls later, we have a 1946 plane. So, that's four old Jeffersons, and on to the next. Next roll, we have a buffalo. Let's see if it has a date. It does. 1924. Let's see if there's a mint mark. No mint mark. Pretty cool. It's really cool. Wow. Put that aside. Let's look through the rest. See if there's anything else. That 46 right here. 46 plane. Five old Jeffersons. Anything else? Now these ones are all fairly new. So, on to the next. Couple rolls later, we have another old Jefferson. It's a 1954 plane. So, that's six. And on to the next. Couple rolls later, we have another old Jefferson, it's a 1948 plane, so that's seven, and on to the next. Couple rolls later, we have a 1941 Denver, so that's eight, and on to the next. Two rolls later, we have another old Jefferson, it's a 1946 plane, so that's nine, and on to the next. Couple rolls later, we have two more old Jeffersons, the first one is a 1941S, and the second one is a 1951 Denver. So, that is 11, and on to the next. Next row, we have two more old Jeffersons. The first one is a 1941 Denver, and the second one is a 1955 Denver. So, that's 13, and on to the next row. Next row, another old Jefferson, 1954 plane. So, that's 14, and on to the next row. Couple rolls later, we have two more old Jeffersons. The first one is a 1947S, and the second one is a 1953 Denver. So, that is 16 old Jeffersons, and on to the next. Just poured out a roll, and I saw this 2005 Buffalo Nickel, as you can, you can call it that, and I moved it over, and there's a Buffalo Nickel right underneath it. Looks pretty nice. Let's see if it has a date. 1936. It's pretty cool. Two buffaloes, both with dates. It's really cool. Oh, we got a 1940 Denver. I think that's 17. And it's unusual. Almost all the buffalo nickels that we find are either dateless or... Yeah, they're all dateless. I think I found maybe two or three this year that actually had a date. So that's it, and on to the next. Couple rolls later, we have two more old Jeffersons. The first one is a 1951 Denver, and the second one is a 1954 plane. So that is 19, and on to the next. Couple rolls later, we have two more old Jeffersons. The first one is a 1948 plane, and the second is a 1953 Denver. So that is 21, and on to the next. Couple rolls later, we have a 1938. So that could have been a buffalo nickel. Let's see what the mint is. Philadelphia. So still pretty cool. 22. And on to the last roll. Last roll. We have one more old Jefferson. So 1947 Denver. So that's 23. And the box is empty. So here's everything I got. And I'll see you in the wrap up. Here's everything we got. Start with the old Jeffersons. We got 23 today. Oldest is a 1938 plane. 1940 Denver. 1941 plane. Three 1941 Denvers, a 41S, four 1946 planes, 47D, 47S, 248 planes, 251 planes, 253 Denvers, 354 Denvers, and a 55 Denver. On the last 54 Denver, I looked at the back and I saw that scratch, but I'm not really sure if that's a scratch because it looks like it's in there. I don't know, that might be a die crack of some sort. It's interesting, so if you know what that is, please let me know. 
And we have two buffaloes, a 1924 P and a 36 P. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.